Hello everybody, this is Naqme Rezai. I'm happy to be presenting our theoretical research on intertextual T consciousness and introduce the theory of particles interuniversal connection to revisit intertextuality. How does intertextuality take place? Through centuries, literary motifs, philosophical concepts, poetic traditions, and stories travel to distant lands without having many facilities for such border crossing journeys. Today, to us, as digital age users, the fact that ideas, concepts, and stories can travel beyond borders sounds very common with immediacy of multilingual translations, digital communications, and so forth. However, intertextuality in its broad sense emerged a long time ago, despite the scarcity of direct communications or traceable translations. Medieval texts provide many such examples. The agency of translators, adapters, or pilgrims of such intertextual journeys is a matter of speculations rather than explanations of their itineraries. Two medieval texts that exemplify an intertextual encounter between the Eastern and Western literature are the Parliament of Falls by Geoffrey Chaucer and the Conference of the Birds, Mantegotair, by Farid Din Attar. Chaucer's 700 line poem, written in the 14th century, bears noteworthy thematic connections with Attar's 4,500 line poem of the 12th century. The quest for love inside and outside one's selfhood, acted by characters of birds, is a central motive in both allegorical poems. No historical evidence or old translations have proved the existence of a direct correspondence between the two works to introduce the Parliament of Falls as an adaptation. However, researches and close readings detect a border-crossing dialogue between the two medieval poets' worlds. Chaucer is known to be the father of English poetry and Attar a precursor to Jalal din Muhammad Rumi, three iconic figures in English and Persian literary heritage. Thus, the question of intertextuality in this case is the question of interconnections between English and Persian literary traditions and the promise of reconnections by recognizing the roots and core of intertextuality. How does intertextuality work in terms of initial conditions? and how vast is the domain of a given text's effect on other texts? Does the flap of a butterfly's wings in Brazil set off a tornado in Texas? At the 139th meeting of American Association for the Advancement in Science in 1972, Edward Lawrence raised the question that historicized the butterfly effect theory and anticipated the emergence of chaos theory. The studies of intertextuality in humanities have occasionally benefited from the butterfly effect theory as a diversifying discourse without finding any practical means of adapting it. What are the butterfly's wings in a text and how do they set off a tornado through intertextuality? Chaos theory itself has been associated with ambiguities in the study of deterministic systems, unpredictability, and initial conditions. As a result, its entrance into the discourse of humanities does not bring any long-lasting answers to these questions. How does intertextuality take place in the absence of translation or any other evident means of communications? How do concepts, ideas, and stories travel beyond temporal and geographical borders and in between languages? And many more questions. At the 30th Annual Science of Consciousness Conference, 
We introduce the theory of particles interuniversal connection by Muhammad Ali Tahiri to offer a dialogic approach to consciousness studies, theory of intertextuality, and chaos theory, and put them together in a unifying perspective. The particles interuniversalism, Ertabat Aum Mezarat, theorized by Tahiri, establishes the concept of particles interrelatedness in the cosmic consciousness network and maintains the possibility of T-consciousness level interaction and exchange of information in between the particles as a result of which one particle may affect the whole system, which offers a new explanation of butterfly effect in a complex system. A conceptual reading of this theory will allow us to revisit intertextuality from a new point of view that centralizes T-consciousness as the connecting principle in between the texts and collective consciousness. The concept of T-consciousness, theorized by Tahiri as the third constituent of the universe, which is neither matter nor energy, is fundamental to this theoretical framework to reinvestigate the interrelation between initial conditions, in this case the individual text, and the whole system, the total library of intertextuality. Conceptually adapting the theory of particles interuniversal connection from physics to humanities, we approach the materialization of a given text and the far-reaching domain of his border-crossing impact on other texts by explaining the T-consciousness interconnection that exists in between the particles in a complex system. Accordingly, Intertextuality might take place even before translations or without any detectable evidence of direct physical connections between an originating source text and an originated one, or the adapted text and the adaptation. Drawing on Tahiri's concept of collective mind, we revisit intertextuality as a phenomenon that exists within languages and cultures and also beyond and by defining several categories of collective mind, such as lingual collective mind, cultural collective mind, historical collective mind, and universal collective mind, we further investigate the immediacy of local intertextuality versus the universal one. We also conceptualize the mind of the world, zehn kalame, from the T-consciousness theory perspective, to theorize that any written or oral re-articulation of a word as the first meaningful segment within the text will charge it with new information that affects the reflective collective mind of that language speakers, as a result of which different languages bear richer or poorer cultural caches for certain concepts through their literary heritage and collective discourse. Two examples are the German language's aptness for philosophical concepts and the Persian language's unique affinities for poetry and the discourse of mysticism. Thanks for being with us. We invite you to also read our theoretical article on the origin of human languages through T-consciousness theory available on Cosmo Intel Journal as the world's unity of existence. Intertextual T-consciousness is the second stage of our project to introduce T-consciousness in language studies, literature, and hermeneutics. Please do not hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions or are interested in cooperation with T-Consciousness Studies at the Cosmointel Center.